Hello, Spanish Fort family. Um, I'm Jennifer Robertson, and I am the Children's um, Director of Nursery and Children's Ministries, and I'm here today to do your pray down at noon. Um, I hope that you all had a wonderful Easter and that you guys have um, been rejoicing in all that is good in the Lord and that you um, joined us Easter Sunday. Um, today, I kind of wanted to um, share with you something that um, I read in my devotion this morning, but also that something that reminded me each and every Easter and then the time following um, the days after, a lot of times we're so excited and we rejoice and we run and we go and we tell people he is alive. And then often so quickly we forget um, just how alive that he is and we quickly go back to our normal lives. Um, but Psalm 55, 22 says, and I'm going to read this to you all, it says, Cast your burden on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. So last year, I had the chance to go with Pastor Bill to Israel, and one of the things that following our time that we got to do is we got to go into the Garden of Gethsemane, and we got to um, pray by the rock that Jesus prayed um, on, and we got to um, walk the Via Della Rosa, which was huge. Um, but one of the things that I realized when I was sitting in that garden um, and kind of thinking about who Christ was to me and who he is to everyone else and what he did in dying for us was that each and every day, and even then, Christ was someone who carried our burdens. He took, he, he paid the price for us. It was something that he went ahead of us and he, and he took and paid the price for us. But the thing that I realized in that moment that I think was the most profound for me and that I hope um, is for you all is that when we say that Christ was is a living Christ, we realize that even to this day, even now, every day since, we still get to cast our burdens and our worries and we lay them at the cross for him to still carry. It wasn't that he carried them just then and stopped. It's that he still doing it. And I think in that moment, it's very odd. I had nothing to say. I was so moved by the fact that Christ would still be carrying all of the things, all of the weight of the world. And just how humbling that thought is. And so I, today, I just wanted to remind you all that, you know, we do have a living God. And he is one that is not, didn't just pay the price once, but that he is still alive today and we see him in all of the in all of our lives but that he is still carrying everything um, that we ask him to carry and so um I know that in these times we sometimes try to hold too tightly onto things and we try and we try to struggle and we um, I know I do this trying to maintain order of all the things and keep things in line um, and sometimes pressures can become overwhelming especially in this time of uncertainty most definitely. But as we've moved past Easter, I just want to remind you that, you know, he is alive and he is still here and he is with us and he is always with us and he is always willing to carry our burdens. And sometimes we just forget and we set aside our fears and we go back to normal life and um, we sometimes just allow ourselves to forget just how powerful um, he is and just how much we are loved. And so um, today that's what I want our prayer to be. I know I'm struggling with um, things to try and control that are out of control. And I know that I spin my wheels just like everybody else just to try and, and grasp what, what I can't grasp. And so today I hope that, um, that you did have a great Easter, but that you were reminded of how Christ will carry um, our burdens, our worries, our anxiousness, our concerns. He will carry it all. And he will be with us through it. Um, that he's always within reach. He's never far away. He is close. He is with us. And he cares. He heals. He restores. He redeems. Um, and his freedom and healing is never failing. So let's go to God today in prayer. God, we, we confess our need for you today. Remind us even days after we shouted that you were alive, Lord, that, that we are reminded of your healing and of your grace, that we need your hope to be restored each and every day in our lives. 
We need to be reminded that you work on behalf of those who you love constantly, powerfully, and completely. Forgive us for trying to fix our situations all on our own and forgive us for running all different directions and spinning our wheels to find help when true help and healing must be found first in you. Forgive us for forgetting how much we need you above everything and everything else. We come to you and bring you places we are hurting. You see where no one else is able to fully see or understand. You know the pain we've carried, the anxieties we have, the cares we have, and the things that are going on in our lives, Lord. You know where we need to be set free. We ask for your healing and grace to cover every broken place that we have, every wound, every every insecurity, Lord, every heartache. We thank you that you are able to do far more than we ever could imagine. Thank you for your mighty power that acts on behalf of your children. We reach out to you and know that you are restoring and redeeming every place of difficulty, every battle for the greater glory, for your greater glory, and still doing it today and every day. Thank you that you will never waste our pain or suffering or anxiousness. And we release all of these things to you today. Every need and problem we've carried or tried hard, our hardest to control, even in the days, only two days following Easter, Lord. We believe in your goodness to see through us, to see us through. We love you and we need you today. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you guys for letting me be with you today and, and pray with you um, and just to share with you um, my thoughts and um, things that I experienced on my trip, but that stay with me each and every Easter. And um, I hope that you will let uh, Jesus carry your burdens today as um, he has and will do every single day. Um, I hope you guys will join us for worship on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And stay tuned to our Facebook page for um, all of our Pray Down at Noons and all of the new um, sermon series that we have coming up. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.